What's up guys, it's your boy Reese has spoken and I haven't done one of these in a while. I know because I've been quite busy at the moment doing things. But uh, today is a flashback Friday and today what I'm going to be talking about is I'm going to be talking about adventure games. So uh, within the fact of like console gaming, so Xbox, PS3 and stuff like that. Um, but pretty much what it is, is uh, obviously it's flashback Friday so I have to talk about stuff that I remember from my past. So adventure game wise... I remember, I think the first console I remember playing adventure game wise, I think, was an N64. So, uh, N64, so adventure games on that that I used to play. Uh, the, the two key ones that I used to play was uh, Super Mario 64, which, which was kind of like a new game for its era, because it was like 3D and stuff like that. And it was uh, Banjo Kazooie as well. I remember playing those two games, and I'm sure I probably put in about. When they were out, probably 10, 15 hours into each game. Obviously, I'd only been young when the game was out. But it's a fact that I did put quite a lot of time into the games. Um, and then you move on a little bit. It's the uh, PlayStation 1. So, adventure games were things like, which I find funny that I still remember. Was things like uh, Crash Bandicoot, Spyro, uh, and stuff like that. And also things, stupid little games as well. Like Cooler World, which was kind of like an adventure puzzle game. Uh, Breakout, which was meant to be like an adaptation of Pong with like a storyline. But there was loads of like adventure games that you move on on PlayStation. And this is where it starts getting a bit kind of more futuristic with the fact that it started off with innocent little cartoon characters. And then you get onto the PS2 and you've got things like GTA San Andreas, uh, obviously, you tell like, no, going back, Lara Croft then come out on the PS1, and then you moved on, you had all the lot of the more up to date Lara Crofts, you had uh, GTA, whatever, you had the other Crash Bandicoots as well, and a couple of Spyros. I'm trying to think of other adventure games on the PS2 or the Xbox. Uh, ignore my phone. <laughs> um, what else? What else? I can't really think of any other adventure games, but it's the fact that we move on to the Xbox 360 and the PS3, where adventure games have got kind of far more over, not even, they're not really any more cartoon kind of based um, adventure games. How you had like Crash Bandicoot stuff out nowadays, it's like The Last of Us, and what else? Call of Duty, obviously, it's got kind of like an adventure, adventure aspect to it. Uh, I'm actually trying to think of. I'm surprised. Yeah, so things like Last of Us, Remember Me, uh, da, 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 da. quite bad. I can't remember adventure games. It's a fact that I don't really play. It is the thing with me. It's the fact that I can remember adventure games from my past because I used to play them so much. But nowadays, because they're not really to me adventure. Oh yeah, Assassin's Creed and stuff like that. It's the fact that. Split the cell, yeah. Now they're coming back now. Split the cell and stuff like that. But it's a fact that I don't really play many adventure games nowadays because of the fact that they're not really the same as how they used to be. I liked the cartoony kind of. Obviously, yeah, I've got stupid things sometimes, like uh, you got the South Park game coming out. That's like an adventure game. I think that's meant to be like an adventure multiplayer something. And then you got things like uh, Halo and stuff like that as well. But it's just the fact that I do play them, but I prefer the old cartoony styled adventure games. But uh, it, the games have changed so much over the years. But uh, yeah, guys, that's my Flashback Friday for today. I hope you enjoyed it. A little bit different, obviously, because the fact I normally do typical things like school dinners and stuff like that. But as a fact, I thought adventure games. How have adventure games changed since I was younger? But um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. A bit of nostalgia, remembering Crash Bandicoot and Spyro, and now thinking nowadays that we've got things like Ezio Auditore from Assassin's Creed and uh, Sam Fisher from Spinner Cell. So, as I always say, guys, my name is Richard Spoken. I hope you guys have a lovely day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.